So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Math and in this video we'll be going over averages from a diagram with the focus of bar charts and line bar charts. When data is numerical we can find the mean and the mode by reading information from a bar or line graph. Now it is not possible to do this if you, your data is categorical, so in other words worded data. Here you can only find the mode as an average. So for example if we look at these two bar charts, one is where the frequency is on the x-axis or the, the horizontal axis, the other is where the frequency is on the vertical axis or the y-axis. It doesn't really matter, they're both bar charts. So in the first diagram, if I just label this as number one, that we can see that although we've got shoe size, each of the actual headings of the bars are all numbers. So we've got six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half and eight. So this would be fine to work out the mean and it's also fine to work out the mode and the mode is always the height of the bar so whichever bar has got the highest the, the tallest height that or the biggest frequency that would be the mode so that is absolutely possible now moving on to the second bar chart which looks at hair color or information from a hair color survey you can see here that the categories or the headings for each of the bars are words so here what we can't do is we could therefore we can't work out the mean so that is going to be a no-go but we can work out the mode because there is a bar that's distinctively taller or got a higher frequency than any of the others so in this case it would be brown hair so the mode is absolutely fine now you can work out the median for when the data is numerical that's fine as well but you can't work out the median when the data is categorical so only when you've got numerical data can you work out all three averages but when the data is categorical then you can't you can only work out the mode so let's go through the processes of actually trying to work out the mean from a bar chart and let me just quickly just line everything up and there we go so in terms of finding the mean from a chart, what you want to do now, this isn't really essential, but I would say it definitely makes your life a little bit easier when working out the mean is to draw a table. Um, and obviously with the headings of X, which is going to be the headings of your bar. So again, looking at the bar chart below, so that would be shoe size in this case. So we could write shoe size or you could write color or not color, whatever the numbers represent. That's what you'd have here. You then have the second bar, which is looking at frequency. And what you then want to do is you then want to complete the table. So if I do this for this particular one, so here I've got headings of six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half and eight. And then what I then want to do is read off the information from the bar chart with the frequency. So for six, the frequency is 22. For six and a half, the frequency is going to be uh well that's going to be six so it's going to be seven or seven it is 25 or seven and a half it is going to be at 30 and for eight it is going to be at 13 and then for the third one what we then need to do is add an extra column and we're going to call this the fx column and then to find the FX value, what you need to do is basically multiply the number in the first column by the number in the second column. And if I just write equals, what I should really do is have a color that you can actually see. And um, so let me just multiply each of those numbers and we're going to work out what the total sum of those are going to be. So if I reach for my calculator and just complete this in, you can see what we're doing so for the first one it's going to be 6 times 22 which is 132 then for the second one if i do 6 times 7 uh, 6.5 rather times 7 and that gives me an answer of 45.5 now don't worry if the answer is going to be a decimal just because we've got decimals in our first column and then 7 times 25, which should be 175. And then 7.5 times 30, which gives me 225. And 8 times 13, which gives me an answer of 104. So the next thing we then need to do is to work out a total column. So if I just write total here, 
And then what I then want to do is add up the totals of the numbers in each of the columns apart from the first one. So here I've got 22, and let's do this on the screen. So let's do 22 plus 7 plus 25 plus 30 plus 13. Press equals, it comes up to 97. And then add up the total FX value. So get the calculator up again. Reset. So we've got 132 plus 45.5 plus 175 plus 225 plus 104. Press equals and it comes up as 681.5, 681.5. And then to work out the mean, what you want to do is you want to divide the total frequency or the total FX value, which is this here. And we're going to divide that by the total frequency, which is this number here. So in relation to this particular example, we're going to do 681.5 divided by 97. And if I get the calculator and just do that. So let's get the fraction button open. 681.5 over 97 press equals. And it gives me an average of 7.02 and then some numbers after so here the average shoe size would be around size 7 and that seems a bit realistic because as you can see i'm expecting an answer that's close to the highest bolt which is 7.5 and so 7 seems quite reasonable and, and the fact that i don't think i've made a mistake now sometimes you may just get asked to work out the total frequency in which all you need to do here is you don't need to necessarily need to draw a table all you just need to do is just work out the heights of each of those bars so it's going to be 22 7 uh, 25 30 and 13 and then all you then need to do is just simply add together those numbers and then you'll therefore have the total frequency again some this often gets confused with working out the average. So again, just make sure that you are reading the questions carefully. Now, another thing that sometimes is asked with regards to these questions is for you to find a range of the data. Now, because obviously you've got two axes that both use numbers, it's very easy to get confused as to what the actual range is. Now for this, the range is the range of numbers along the non-frequency axis. So it's got nothing to do with the heights of the bars. It's all got to do with what the actual headings of those bars actually are. So if we look at these three individual graphs or charts, as we remember what you want to call it. So here the range is the range of these numbers. Now I wouldn't say it's always the horizontal axis because that's not going to be the case the vertical axis represents a frequency it's the other axes that you need to work out the range so looking at the numbers that i've highlighted the biggest number is six the smallest number is one so therefore the range is going to be five for the second one so let me just label these as one two and three so here the frequency is going along the horizontal axis so we want to work out the range of these numbers here so therefore, then the range is going to equal this biggest number is four. The smallest number is zero. So the range is four. And then for number three, again, we're looking at the range being on the the vertical axes. So here the range and the smallest shoe size is six. Uh, sorry, the largest shoe size is eight and the smallest is six. So the range therefore is going to be two. But again, it's very easy to make a mistake. So it's really important that you look at the diagram carefully. Don't automatically think it's always going to be the horizontal axis. It may also be the vertical axis as well. So it just depends on the orientation of your bar chart or your line chart. So let's have a look at some example questions. So in these questions, again, I'll, I'll, I will not have written, not written the question all in its entirety, but we'll just write down the, the complete essence. So here we've got a results from a pet survey where I'm guessing that people were asked how many pets they have and they range the numbers from zero to four. So again, what I want to do here, and the question is asking me to work out the total frequency. So for this, all I need to do is just work out the total length of each of the bars. So each bar width is two. So then that is going to be 25, is it? So that's 26, so it's 27, sorry. Let me just use a different color because that's not best to see. We've got 27 
This is going to be 23. This is going to be 31. That is 20. And that is 15. So if I, the, for A, all I need to do is just add up those numbers. So 27 plus 23 plus 31 plus 20 plus 15. And if I just get the calculator up again and just work through those. So 23 plus 31 plus 20 plus 15 equals, I get 116. So, so, so in terms of how many people asked, how many pets they have, 116 would be the answer. Now for B, it's asking me to work out the mean, which is possible because both sides of this bar chart are numerical data. So here we've got number of pets, which is numerical. So setting up my table, if I have number of pets, and I've got zero, one, two, three, four. I've then got the frequency, and if I then I've already worked that out. So that's 27, 23, 31, 20, uh, and 15. I then create an FX column in which all I then need to do is just multiply those two numbers together. Let's see if I should be able to do these without a calculator. So here we get zero, 23, 62. 60 and 60. So adding all of those numbers up, we get 5 and then 18, 20. So we get 205. So then the estimated mean, well, I've not worked out the total frequency. So let's just quickly do all we have done that, which is part A. So the mean then is going to be 205 divided by 116. So if I just type that into my calculator, 106, no, 205 divided by 116 and I get an answer of 1.76 1.76 now because you're dealing with pets and you can't have a decimal answer we would say that the average or the mean number of pets is going to be two rounded up so moving on to our next example so again so I'm guessing judging at the date and the headings of the bar chart or the line chart we've got in this case is that people are asked how many brothers and sisters they've got. And again, the numbers range from zero to five. So the first part of the question is asking, what's the total number of people that were asked? So looking at this, this is 14. This bar is 27. This bar is 23. This bar here is at 14. And this bar here is at 11 and this bar here is at 3. So then working out the total frequency we've got 14 plus 27 plus 23 plus 14 plus 11 plus 3 and if I get the calculator and do that calculation so 14 plus 27 plus 23 plus 14 plus 11 plus 3 and we get an answer of 92 so 92 people were asked and then we then got to work out the mean so that's for part a so for part b so here we've got number of rows and scissors so we've got 0 1 2 3 4 5 we've got the frequency and which we've got 14 27, 23, 14, 11, and 3. And then I then need to create an FX column. And we need our total. And I've already worked that one out. It's been 92. So then multiplying these numbers across. So that's going to be 0, 27, 46. Uh, that's going to be 30 plus 12, which is 42, and then 44 and 15. So then totaling up all of those numbers, and let me just get the calculator and just do it here. So I've got 27 plus 46 plus 42 plus 44 plus 15, and that comes up to a total of 174. So then the mean is going to be 174 divided by 92 which gives me an answer 
of 1.89 and then a few decimals after that now again because you can't have decimal people i would say then that's going to be rounded to two rows and sisses and there is my final answer then moving on to our last example so again um, i'm assuming that a dice was rolled and the scores were meant uh, recorded so let's work out the total number of rolls so here this is going to be uh 13 and so every little subline represents one so that's going to be eight this is going to be 15 this is going to be 10 that is at 12 and this is at 13. So then the total number of rolls, let me just move that up a little bit. Go okay, quite off the screen. So looking at this then, it's going to be 13 plus 8 plus 15 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13. And if I add up all of those numbers, uh, 13 plus 8 plus 15 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13. I get an answer of 71 and so those 71 rolls which seems a bit odd but there you go would actually is odd excuse the pun so then looking at the mean we've got the number of the die and that ranges from one two three four five six and also need a total i've then got the frequency which i've already recorded as being 13 8 uh, 15 oh, let's make sure the spacing's done there so 8 15 then 10 12 13 that all adds up to 71 then I need to create an FX column in which you multiply this through so we've got 26 16 45 40 uh, 60 and 8 and we've then got 78 i'd say let me just double check 6 times 13 is 78 then we add those numbers up so let's just do just that and this could appear on the both the calculator and non-calculator paper uh, but I'm, just for time purposes i'm using my calculator uh, 40 plus 60 plus 78 so it's 265 so then the mean is going to equal 265 over 71 and let me just type that into my calculator so 265 divided by 71 and to get an answer of 3.7 Blah, blah blah so again you can either leave your answer like that or you could round your answer up as being four so four was the most popular score uh, in terms of that there and that there should obviously cover this particular topic